All right, y'all. Welcome to Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. in Toronto. It is uh, technically rush hour. Everybody's getting out. We are in the downtown core. I'm on Young Street. And everywhere you look, there's a whole lot of things going down, essentially. So the reality is, I'm saucy, I'm salty, I'm sassy. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Uh, not in the greatest of moods, to be honest. <laughs> Such is life, though, let's be transparent. But uh, I feel as if what will make me better is actually getting up, going out and doing some stuff, making things happen. Uh, and on that note, that means taking us on a ferry ride to uh, Center Island. And uh, just, you know, getting out, get walking, get the blood moving, don't stew around in my, in my bullshit, in my head. And let's get some footage and show you guys a ferry ride and what the uh, what the city skyline looks like from the water. Something that many of you haven't seen or won't get to see or whatever. So I feel like that's probably kind of cool. And uh, yeah, maybe go check out the island a little bit. And humans, humans everywhere. And these humans just don't care <laughs> about breathing this dirty air. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Another true confession of mine, I th when I first thought of doing a video like this, I always thought to myself, we should do it at sunset. So that's what we're doing. It's gonna be, I'm hoping that we can catch a nice sunset because the sun is dipping here uh, pretty soon, maybe two hours or so. So it might work out perfect, I think. I think it'll just look cooler. In a, in a sunset scenario and then even then we can probably see like best of both worlds you'll get it with some daylight and then on the way back it'll probably be well if I can get my camera to work right for it but get like the night like the, the night city with just completely dark but all the lights lit up all the buildings lit up CN Tower lit up all that stuff so I'm hoping to just in one go get a capture the best of both both you know what I mean so you can see in the day and, and in the night so bike lane bike lane bike lane always watch out for the bike lane you might lose a leg it's it's hard it's it's easy to forget about the bike lanes and you just like you walk into them and all of a sudden people are just like ring ding 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 ah get out of my way and I'm like oh shit I totally forgot about you guys sorry but yeah oh speed racer on that that skate though get it all right, we're getting close. We are approaching hot dog stands though, which are a staple, quintessential. Maybe I'll have to get one later. A nice little pig's butt and feet treat, you know? But they're delicious and cheap. What is it? Three bucks for a hot dog? Loader up, looking nice. Oh, carnival shit. What's happening? been hit with a curveball in previous years it used to be free it's definitely free on the way back I know that for sure but uh, it seems that we're gonna have to pay some money so I'm intrigued to know what the rate is because to get out there on a water taxi is 10 bucks which is reasonable to me like I don't mind parting with a 10 just you know to get floated across water that I would drown and die in otherwise so like I'm okay with the 10 all right we've reached the paddock so it was eight dollars and 19 cents for an adult which is like really should just take a water taxi <laughs> we've come up in the game we've moved up into position heavy. i just got shuffled in the front of the line somehow so that's cool too we must appreciate these moments well, it's right here i think that's what we're going to be getting on hopefully soon also just i'm in jail I'm in, I'm in boat jail, so that's a thing too. However, in in boat jail, I'm the leader of the pack. I feel like Michael Schofield. If you 
know that reference. You're a G. I've also been holding my pee way too long. I feel like a caged animal who can't pee. And I really gotta pee. And the sun's going like down quick right now. And I'm all stressed out. I just spent this 819 and I'm not even gonna get these shots. So, we're entering a territory of concern and stress deep inside the walls of my internal organs. Okay, that's enough. Bye. Release the hounds. Get it, get it. Straight to the, straight to the top. Sick, boat life. This is trip. All the life preservers. For if we go down, we good. I got one. If we go down, I kind of weirdly like. I like how those life preservers, they, they look very aesthetic. They're kind of dope for like a video. Oh, this man's got the right idea. Going up. Oh, no. So I haven't searched yet, but I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't have a washroom. So that's not great. But oh well. We'll have to deal. Okay, well, we're on the move. The movement has kicked up some wind and it smells like fish now, which I'm not into that. But outside of that, everything is going swimmingly. y'all Toronto city skyline very very dope in my opinion I do like it I think it's a very beautiful uh, beautiful sight from the water in all true honesty as you can see you got all the other little boats and everything ripping alongside coming out water taxis sailboats people just at leisure and the airport was just over there, and then now we're heading into the island. Looks like there's a sweet ass patio over there, so maybe we'll hit that and have a drinky poo. And we'll just chat, hang out, spend a little time together. That's what it's all about, guys. Appreciating what you have at your disposal, the place that you live, trying to figure it out, and do the do the nice, cool things in it, and appreciate simple moments like nature and a boat ride and looking at these structures. This is grabbing my attention right here. This patio, I feel like I wanna hit that. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? We've made it, evidently, as you saw me come in. I find this extremely comedic. I don't know why, but it's just like, <laughs> there's a subway and a pizza pizza. And I've been fasting for I'm supposed to fast for another like X amount of hours. I really would love to eat some of that right now. I'd love to get like a nice sub and lay down in the grass and have a little muck with you, which we may do. I can't say that it won't happen. It may happen. That might be my meal, but I have to do the natural daylight, but we still have quite a bit of daylight. Uh, I don't really know what to do though here. Just this, this place is actually so big and I have no idea where it is that I should go. But, in this life, you should always follow your gut and your instinct, or in this case, my, once again, need to pee, and what we're gonna do, actually, is go over here to this glorious place called, uh, called Washrooms. It's 
what I'm most excited for. But my, my gut leads me to believe that I should go over to this patio, knock back a couple fun guys, and I don't mean mushrooms, I mean fun guys, and become a fun guy. Uh, and then tour around a bit, see what we could see, see what we could find, and just chat, talk, life stuff, you know. Maybe try to find some views from the six, if you will. And uh, and then maybe end it off by crushing a dirty sub from Subway that because it's on the island, it's probably gonna be two to three times more expensive than the mainland. But uh, yeah, first let's, let, let's get situated here, okay. All right, off come the sunnies. Let's have a little eye contact. Okay, so I just went into the washroom and it just says washrooms. It doesn't say women or men, so I don't know. I guess they're unisex, but uh, I was fully, <laughs> fully in there, just like dropping a, you know, a long one, and and then I come out and there's like this lady washing her hands. I'm like, oh, <laughs> whoops, sorry, didn't mean to intrude on you, but I don't know. It didn't didn't specify anything, so I don't know. It's very confusing. So anyways, I'm gonna head to the, to the patio. Going, going with the gut. I feel like a drink and a chat and then a cruise around would be optimal in this scenario. Toronto Island, Barbecue and Beer Co. What's up? It doesn't look very busy, which to me is perfect as this vlogging lifestyle. People just don't know how to handle it. I barely know how to how to handle it. But everybody questions you and is like, everybody just looks at you like you're a crazy person. Which, I mean, I am, so it works. Beverage procured. Cheers. Look through the lens of the vodka, of the vodka soda. Extra heavy ice. You guys know me, I'm an ice fiend. But let's just toss this guy back around. Come up and look at me, sir. Hello, hello, bow, hello. There it is. That's it. This is vodka soda. Ow, this, this position hurts my back. This isn't ideal. Oh, there they go. Say bye. Water taxi and then later y'all. I might see you later tonight, sir, because in all honesty, the uh, the line to get back was massively huge. But we'll be going on the later ferry. Um you know, when it's dark after the sun dip, so Maybe then it won't be so bad, but my guess is it being summertime and this being the island, there will be lots of people waiting. So anyways, let's get to a sip of this Bevero. It's a little, it's a little off. It's a little off. Strong, but there's a slight twang in there that I was not expecting, so. Canoe life. Shout out canoes. Don't tip. Yo, this guy's got mad control on the paddle though, for reals. See, he spun that shit around no problem. As a seasoned paddleman. As I look forward and upon life here, you know, everything's fine and dandy and great. And so I guess, that's kind of something to note then right here is how earlier I was saying I woke up on the wrong side of the bed uh, some self-induced stuff or whatever but you know just I was man I just was a man I was being man sad salty sassy just I'm just annoyed like very just on one you know in a mood and uh, like I said earlier in the vlog it's like just get out, go do things, like, go do something like this. And you know what, along the way, I've 
I've lightened up. I've cheered up. I have to be, not have to be, but you know, social commentary. I like to be kind of like chatty and funny and chatty Kathy and that's what this did. It's like I have to, I'm commentating on these things and I'm taking in moments and I'm, you know, seeing the city as such, which is like, it's a privilege really. This, for me to be in this position, to even come to do this, it's, it's a privilege. A lot of people don't have the luxury. A lot of people, just this, this lady on here was getting, she had like, she was, she was, uh, dis dis disabled, like a, like a quadriplegic or whatever, like just, you know, can't, she's in a chair and her husband is a nice enough guy, obviously to bring her on the boat and bring her out and whatever and all that, but it's like, you know, she has a lot more to be feeling bad about than I do, so it's just stuff like that, right? It's just appreciating these, uh, you know, your able body and these, these these times, these moments, these views, and just the privilege that you actually get to wake up and walk yourself here and have the money to go to come out here and you know have the ability to just come do this. So. That's what's dope. I'm gonna go find a more comfortable location to sit down and talk to you guys though. Um, because this is straining on my back. I'm hunched over as shit. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a minute.